I'm Jamie from Oricon. I'm here to tell you today about how all our offices around the globe are unconventional. Here's the Melbourne office, let's go check it out. Hey Lauren, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? Yeah, good. Our offices have been described as different, perhaps even a little eccentric. And you know what, we're okay with that. Let's meet some of our teams and our grads. Hey James. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good. How are you? What's, uh, what's this? Um, this is actually the northern portal for the Westgate Tunnel. Um, so we're doing just kind of preliminary design of the dead stuff. I'm um, just sizing up some of the members for that. And do you, do you use this uh, Think Zone space? Uh, every now and then we all crowd around and get together and have a bit of a chat or play with the Jenga. Basically, if we have any issues, we like to all come around and share our issues together because we think as a team we can come up with better solutions than we can as on our own. Digital innovation has started at Oricon, transforming the way that we design for our clients, we provide solutions and the way we live. Tara does that. Can you tell us a little bit about the digital ideas platform that you've got? got going here at Oricon? Yeah, so we um, have a global platform that was developed in-house so, um, that enables anyone within the company to post an idea and get a little bit of funding um, and sort of prototype that. So we're working with um, you know a global team uh, on some machine learning um, ideas that have come through. So we're you know leveraging um, people from all across the, the organisation to um, to, to look at how we can improve service delivery. Here we observe the life of ESD engineers in their natural habitat. Let's go see if we can catch one of them. Hi Paul. Hey. What is this building? Uh, actually this one's a residential tower. It's currently going for an energy analysis and what we're doing here is we're trying to work out how much uh, solar radiation will impact different kinds of glazing. And what made you get into this uh, type of engineering? Yeah, again, awesome question. I, um, to be honest, it was the Sagrada Familia. Uh, so when I was traveling in Spain, I saw this big, organic, giant, you know, cathedral-esque structure. And I wondered how, why it was designed in a certain way and, and really got into the idea of the aesthetics of biomimicry. And, and, you know, I was still studying at the time, came back and try to find a career that sort of aligned with architecture and engineering and also sort of that uh, biological systems thinking. Uh, and so I ended up here at Oricon, so yeah. What's your experience working at Oricon? It's been awesome, it's been really good. Um, I have to say that, right? No, um, <laughs> yeah. no, it's been really good. I really love the people. Uh, the environment's fantastic and uh, the projects are, you know, there's a lot of variety in what we do, so. Um, Jeanette, I, uh, I have a big a bit of a question for you. Um, I have a big personality. Uh, can I bring that to work? No, that's, <laughs> that's forbidden here. Oh. No, um. <laughs> I think that's what's different about this place. Um, you know, we bring what we've got and we're recognised for it and we have and a bit we of fun. make it stronger. We make everyone stronger in their strengths. This is um, one of our attributes mugs. Uh, this happens to be mine. There's a number of different attributes that we actually celebrate at Oricon. Everybody has something to bring to the organisation and, and Oricon defined what that was. And um, yeah, and we welcome it and we bring it to the table. It allows us to give um, our clients the best project teams that they can have. Jamie. We're currently uh, filming uh, for our grad campaign. Um, do you mind? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just uh, having a look over a few things for our uh, emergency maintenance bushfire preparedness program. That's a mouthful. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and wh what are you currently doing on that? So the program overall is ensuring all regional schools throughout Victoria are uh, up to a certain level of bushfire compliance based on their bushfire, bushfire attack level. So what we've been doing is we've been acting as the contract manager. So we're all part of Limelight, our graduate group full of young professionals. What's your favourite part of being part of that committee? 
Um, I guess when I started, I just wanted to meet other grads because it was a bit overwhelming starting at Oricon um, in a small team as well um, and not knowing you know, all the different parts of the business. But I think it's good off the cuff in terms of professional sort of learning what other teams, what's expected, what other people are able to do and not with line managers and that sort of thing. So. Oh, my manager told me, oh, there's this limelight group you should join. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what's that? And then, yeah, I've loved it from a social point of view. So there you have it, day in the life of our finest grads. If you see that this might be the place for you, jump online, apply. Maybe you could be walking through those doors. <laughs> jump out. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.